In this video, we're going to simplify the cube root of root 5 plus 2 added by the cube root of root 5 minus 2. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. To simplify this expression, I'm going to let the first term be a and b be the second term. We know very little about these two expressions, but we know the value of the number cubed. Say a cubed is simply the number inside the cube root sign, which is root 5 plus 2, while for b, if we cube it, we have root 5 minus 2. We can see there is some kind of symmetry happening between these two numbers. One is the sum of root 5 and 2, and the other is the difference of these two numbers. So if we do a further multiplication on these two numbers, the product is actually the difference of squares, which is 1. And since both numbers are real, so we know that if it's the number cubed is 1, then the product itself of AB is also 1. And furthermore, from the results after cubing, we can see that the difference of these two numbers is 4. So we kind of set up two equations on A and B. One is the product equals 1, while for the other is that the difference of cubes is equal to 4. To proceed, we can factorize the difference of cubes, which is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. And for the second part of the product, I can rewrite that in terms of a minus b. It's this expression all squared, and then add it by 3ab. And since the product is 1, I can say that a minus b times a minus b all squared plus 3 is equal to 4. Then we have a cubic equation about a minus b. To make things look easier, I can say let u equal to this expression, so u cubed plus 3u minus 4 equals 0. To solve a cubic, we tend to use the factor theorem. Since we can observe that uh, u equals 1 is a solution, I can say u minus 1 is a factor. Then dividing, you should get u squared plus u plus 4 as the quotient. So either u equals 1 or the other part equals 0. But for the second part, the discriminant is negative, so we can reject it. And that means this is the only possible solution for u, which is actually a minus b. It seems that from here, the difference of these two cube roots is even simpler. This expression can be simplified as 1, a magnificent result. But we're actually asked to solve a plus b, so we just have to move on. And noticing further that a plus b all squared has something to do with a minus b all squared, it's just that squared added by 4ab. So again, it's still easy. So it's 1 squared plus 4 times 1. And so it's 5. And since we know that this expression is positive, because both cube roots are positive, so we know a plus b equals root 5. And this is our final answer. But still a very simple one. Please feel free to share your ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.